Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Bear Views back at you today with another one. And today I am looking at Country Club Malt Liquor. It's a Pabst brand introduced in 1951. It's 5.86% alcohol by volume. Very spotty distribution. Um, it's one of the legacy, Pabst legacy brands. I cannot get it in my area. This can is courtesy of William Kepley. So thank you very much, William. Um, it is available in parts of North Carolina um, and a few other states. But um, anyway, I had never seen it up until a few weeks ago. So I'm very, very excited about this one. Let's give it a pour and see what we're dealing with here. Pretty aggressive with the pour there. There it is. A beautiful golden appearance. Nice two and a half finger white head. Some nice streaming bubbles going up the glass. Looks like a really good beer. Nice and fizzy. Mm, all right. So the aroma, definitely malt forward. You're getting that barley malt. Mm, very clean smelling aroma. Definite barley malt on the nose. A little bit of hop character as well. Like a slight grassy note. Clean water. Very light on the aroma though. It's really nothing that's popping out at you other than that nice barley malt aroma and a little bit of the grassy hops. It smells like it's going to be a great beer. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Excellent. Nice and bready. You're getting that barley malt right up front. Leads into a nice white bread, white bread crust note in the middle of the sip. The body is super light. The carbonation is medium. Mm. The finish is crisp, clean, refreshing, dry. Um, it is a little bit sweeter initially, a little bit more malty, but that grassy hot bite at the end really balances this one out well. But because it is a little bit more malty up front, it kind of has that classic malt liquor taste. It is a lighter bodied malt liquor. Um, very similar to Magnum um, or Mickey's, uh, right around there. Uh, even King Cobra, although it's a little bit lighter than King Cobra, and King Cobra is 6%. Uh, this is really a great malt liquor. It's got the malt character. It's got that little bit of hop bite, like I said, to balance it out nicely. Really, really enjoyable. It's a damn shame that this is not more widely distributed. Mm. Just an excellent malt liquor, guys. One of my favorites. Um, I love the classic can design. Very cool classic can design. America's Premium Malt Liquor. Like I said, introduced in 1951. This product has been available for a very long time. Uh, they obviously have been doing something right over the years. I think they make a quality product. I wish that it was more widely available though. Um, I would buy this all the time, no doubt. Um, one of the best malt liquors on the market, really. Uh, I'm not just saying that because uh, I can't get it. I'm saying that because it is true and perhaps if you're listening, please distribute Country Club Malt Liquor to the state of Georgia. I would love that. And a lot of states because there are so many people out there that want to try this product, that would buy this product, uh, and I think that it would sell very well if uh, the distribution would uh, be a little bit more widespread. You know, a little advertising campaign wouldn't kill you either, Paps. Uh, you've got some great beers out there, some excellent legacy brands that have been acquired over the years, uh, and I just think that um, you need to let the people have them, distribute them better. So anyway... 
Um, I'm going to go with a 96 out of 100. It's a solid A, getting up there towards world class for the malt liquor style for sure. One of the best malt liquors that I've ever had, uh, and I would love to buy this beer on a more regular basis if it was more widely available, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, so 96 out of 100 for the Country Club Malt Liquor. I highly recommend it. If it is in your area and you have not already tried it and you like malt liquor, go out, buy it, try it. Let me know what you think. It's definitely a winner for the style. You cannot go wrong with Country Club Malt Liquor. So that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.